Chapter 6 Subject Verb Agreement Basic rule Singular subjects need singular verbs. Plural subjects need plural verbs. The history of the pyramids is very interesting. So I'm going to show you something that is very tricky to foreigners. Foreigners will see this S here at the end of pyramids indicating it's plural and they will probably use R. But the thing is that you're talking about the history, not about the pyramids. You're talking about the history of the pyramids. So you need to be very careful because the basic rule is very simple, but the details are very important. The earth spins. So here we have our basic rule. This could be a problem for foreigners too, putting that S at the end in the third person singular. But as I said before, generally that S will be acquired in the future. Dogs bark. Now this is a plural form, dogs, so you need to use a plural form of the verb. And by the way, this is not the plural form of the verb, guys. This is actually the singular form of the verb. Singular, singular, okay? The plural form of a verb in English is without the S. Whenever you see the S at the end of a verb, that is singular, he, she, or it. Our teacher comes from Madrid. So you have our teacher in the singular and you have comes in the singular. Our teacher and her son, plural, come from Madrid. The giant pandas in the zoo eat bamboo. That money in my back pocket is for the rent. You need to remind students that phrases between subject and verb don't change subject and verb agreement. Every star is shining. Every is a singular word. Everybody, everyone loves ice cream. These words can be very confusing to foreigners because they give an idea, especially everybody and everyone, to a lot of people. But they are singular words, so you need to agree. Your verb needs to be in the singular form too. People in Honduras speak Spanish. People is a plural noun, although it's just one word without an S because it's an irregular plural. So you need to agree your verb needs to go to the plural form as well. Now, these create problems. Pronouns such as everyone and everybody, as I said before, they seem plural, but they are always singular. So they need a singular verb. Everyone who worked on the science project is a winner. Someone has to answer the phone. So singular, singular. Phrases that come between the subject pronouns and its verb may contain plural words and confuse foreigners. For example, each of the basketball players, although you see basketball players in the plural here, you're talking about each, so it should be singular, is excited about tonight's game. Verbs that accompany pronouns such as all and some will be determined by whether the pronoun is referring to something that is countable or not. For example, some of the workers, workers is a countable noun, so it's plural. Some of the workers on the building have left for the day. So you could count the workers. Look at this sentence. Some, you have the same sum of the salt, salt is what we call an uncountable or non-countable noun, was spilled on the floor. This is very confusing for foreigners. You need to be very careful when you explain this so they know how to agree the noun with the verb. None is usually regarded as singular, but it can be used as a plural pronoun. None of the boys has helped at the game or None of the boys have helped at the game. So you can have none of the boys has helped at the game or none of the boys have helped at the game. Either is correct. Phrases such as together with, along with, and as well as seem to combine subjects, but they do not. Some of the tile in our room, as well as the hall, was soaked. So sometimes we think, that we are going to combine this, but we can't. The major problem we had together with that of our teacher was tardiness. Don't be fooled by extra phrases. 
when either and neither appear as a subject alone without the words or or nor, they are singular. Either of those answers seems to be right. So although you have answers here in the plural, you only have either, you don't have or, you don't have nor, so it should be singular. Your verb needs to agree with those words. You can have the bed by the window or the one by the door. Either is okay with me. So again, same situation. The words there and here are never subjects. Here are the papers you gave me. So R will agree with papers. Here is my answer. Is agrees with answer, not here. Verbs in the present tense for third person singular subjects, he, she, and it, and anything those words can stand for, have S endings. Other verbs do not add S endings. And remember, this is singular. He asks for help. She asks for help. They ask for help. No S. That was the end of this video. Make sure you review it if you need and ask me questions in class. That's the end of chapter 6. If you have questions, you can ask me in class.